Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is looking very nice. Woo! Let me tell you all man, this is perfect. Welcome to another beautiful day here at the creek in Delaware. We have crystal clear creek today. It has not rained for a while. The next couple days it's supposed to downpour. But uh, yeah, the water level is a little bit lower, but it's super, super, super freaking clear. So we're gonna be walking down. Hopefully today I'm, I have a goal to walk further than I've ever walked before because hopefully the water level is down a little bit. We won't go super swimming with all our gear. Hoping that we can catch a bunch of different types of fish today. We're still looking for that elusive Delaware summer trout, which might possibly be in this creek here somewhere today. And uh, yeah, I, I have something really cool to show you guys real quick. All right, so got a bunch cool stuff here today boom put that down for a sec let me show you real quick just, let's just let's get a sneak peek look at that tiny little lure right there man this is a little grub this is actually called a fat assassin by today's video sponsor euro tackle if you are not familiar with euro tackle they specialize in uh, micro finesse lures like this they have hard baits but the plastics are what we are going to be using today look how tiny this thing is we've got a bunch of different stuff here. I'm not gonna waste any more time talking. Yeah, we got a bunch of lures, we've got a creek. Let's see how many freaking fish we can catch out of here. And let's just have a good day. It's toasty. Can't wait to uh, get wading here in this water. It's gonna, it's gonna feel so good, dude. Appreciate y'all coming today. Ooh, ah, yeah, I'm starting to sweat out here. Let me just show you guys what we got here. So this is really freaking cool. I've never had anything like this before. These are a bunch of jig heads. Let me poke one out for you real quick. I organized them. If you guys know me, I'm like never organized. So this is freaking sick to have. These are all tungsten uh, Euro Tackle jig heads. One 16th ounce, these are 132 ounce. Different hook sizes and stuff. Super nice, convenient. By the way, you guys know, I like never really do sponsor videos or work with random companies. And Euro Tackle is not like a random company. I've used their stuff before, I really like it. So I was kind of hyped when they were like, yo dude, you want some stuff? Let's try it out. And this on the ground is kind of what we're gonna be using today. So I already got these dudes out. This is the Ennis Soptura. Whoa, frick. Yo, I literally, that was embarrassing. Nobody saw that. Backpack fell and jig box attacked me. That was just a little extra. Okay. Oh my gosh, and it begins. As we're standing here, that is a largemouth bass. It's not a big one, but then I saw a smallmouth bass swim over there too. All right, we gotta, we, we gotta get fishing here. So we got these dudes, little bug dudes. I forget um, what they look like. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I've used them before. So yeah, we got a couple colors of those. We have some fat assassins, which are just some other bug larva grub looking dudes. We have a couple colors of those. Those look like freaking creek candy. And then I don't know if we're gonna use these or not, but I got some of these as well today. We know that there's crawfish in here. These are metacrawls. Basically they're like little finesse crawl dudes. Dude, I don't know what to say, man. I trusted this backpack. Just went and spooked me like that. <sighs> Freaking got my blood pumping. So if you guys know, you know we're running our creek set up here. This is a Luz Mach Light, four pound. Dude, look, I'm getting shiny. I'm telling you, it's freaking toasty out here, man. Holy. Yeah, we got four pound fluorocarbon and the super finesse. We just put a one 32 ounce jig head on here. By the way, too, I see a lot of people comment in my videos they're like dude why the heck if it's like 90 degrees out kind of like it is today like why, why are you wearing a freaking hoodie man if you guys don't know these shirts are not like hot shirt. like these are uh upf like sun protecting shirts and a lot of times they like keep you cooler than if the sun was just beating on your arms and stuff it's funny the amount of comments i get it's like dude why are you wearing a freaking hoodie <laughs> it is nice though when they have a hood because then you know, you get the sun out of your face and stuff too. I'm gonna do that right now. Dude, the back of the neck for me, that's like the worst. Oh my gosh, there's a big sucker fish right there. So this is uh, what we got going on again. One sixteenth ounce, pretty sure. And then look at the look at that. See how it looks in the water. That's where we're starting out today. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. There we go. Third cast, the char. What do we got here? First fish of the day. I had to guess one of these guys was gonna bite, right? This is our very, very close friend. We are acquainted once again. Hello. Oh, 
Very spiky dudes. Can't get mad catching a couple of these guys, man. They are feisty. They pretty much at this point run the creek. And I'm not mad about it. Super nice colors as well. Hello, can I have that back, sir? Thank you. Slip that right out of his teeth right there. Boom! First fish of the freaking day. We are not very surprised to see this dude, but it is a you know, friendly reminder that we are at a Delaware Creek in a friendly addition today to the fish numbers that we've caught. All right, sick. All right, that's looking juicy right there. Oh yeah, there we go. Smoked it. What do we got here? Oh, this is another one. Definitely better colors on this dude. All right, second fish of the day. Red breast number two. Boom. It's the red, red, red breast roundup coming at you. Don't worry, we're not gonna put a bunch of red breast catches in because I know that could get repetitive. She's kind of like the bluegill. All right, let's keep her moving. I am tangled. Hello. Pliers, don't do this to me. Oh, thank the Lord. Dude, that feel, oh my God. That feeling right once you get into a creek on a super toasty day, man, there's just nothing, there's nothing like it. All right, let's make our way down. As y'all can hopefully probably see, look at how clear this is when the sun's out and everything too. Woo. All right. So basically, we're just gonna be fishing anything and everything that looks good on our way down. This is very gunky. I just don't know what is up with this Delaware. I mean, it's been hot, but again, like this whole summer, I haven't seen gunkiness until this past like couple weeks, and it's just very, very gunky. It's not just like a little bit. Don't know what that says about the water. Dude, I've honestly never seen it this clear, like under these, this tree right here. Definitely not what it normally is. That's kind of cool though, because as we go down, we can definitely see like the structure and help us fish better hopefully next time. Hopefully we can see some stuff down there swimming too. I'm gonna keep going down a little bit. Oh, oh. As I said that, second species of the day, not yet official. Chill, 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 chill. Boom, touched him. <laughs> as I was reeling that up too. See, even if it doesn't look like there's fish in a spot, sometimes just like, gotta cast, you know? Just a little bit of patience. You wanted that. All right, second species of the day, little smallmouth bass. Came up, karate chopped it with his jaws. That was like on the real end too. I mean, I was hungry. Here we go. Whew, smoked, oh geez, oh geez. Holy, let me wet my hand a little bit. Whew. I'm telling you man, especially on the ultralight, but there's just nothing like some good old creek smallies. These dudes want it. It's so crazy too, because as I said, I could see like, chill. I could see down in the water. I don't see these fish. They just blend in so well. <laughs> Second one, I mean, they get bigger than that too, but that is a solid, Saw a little fighter. He was jumping and everything. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Let's go. Such a nice day. It's getting towards that fall. Like, let me know, man. In the comments below, what is your favorite fishing season? I asked that on a poll, but like, let me know, like, why in the comments section if y'all feel like answering that. I love reading the comments. Do it every video. I just sometimes can't reply to them all because I'm just a human. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, are they loaded right up in there? Oh gosh. 
I was gonna say though, dude, I'm so excited for fall. Look at this, that's another solid. Dude, they're tearing this thing up. Oh my gosh. I think what I'm most excited for fall is like the weather just to chill out a little bit. Boom, whoa. Do you see that freaking pattern up top there? Oh my gosh. That is a colored up, beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Let's get a nice release on you, buddy. Yeah, it's just been hot in Delaware. I'm ready for some cooler weather. We're gonna be doing a lot more traveling. And uh, I mean, if you're into it, trout season is upon us almost. Fall trout season. Saltwater bites should get better. Pond fishing bites should get better. We're in for a good next couple weeks here, man. <laughs> Let me just give you a, oh, there's some nice flowers over there. Let me give you a nice pan around what we're working with here on this fine Delaware day with this gorgeous creek. Look how crystal clear. I mean, really. As I said, it's supposed to storm tomorrow. It's just going to be crazy. It's going to be super heavy all day. And then I think the next couple days it's supposed to rain. So this super uh, clear stuff might not last super long. It's a little bit deeper right here. Oh, dude, I see. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Oh, that's a decent one. That's the best one we've caught so far. What is that? That nice smelly? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he's digging upstream. Come here. Oh, yes, dude. Whew. Whew. Top of the mouth. See, this is not the one I saw. I saw one that was just looking upstream for food. Oh my gosh. Once I casted just three of them out of nowhere, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I will freaking take that all day. Thank you very much, buddy. Boom. <laughs> oh, I just popped off right there. All right, I think uh, this lure's getting a little torn up here. After a bunch of fish, a bunch of casts, we are going to just put a new one on. I'm not gonna switch up just yet. I have a feeling if there's a trout, more natural looking bait, the more better possibilities of us hopefully catching it. Look at this, y'all. Sometimes you just move a rock over. Oh, oh, look what I found. Look at this. This little bugger. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. We just put a different one on. This is a different, more natural color. But tell me that doesn't look like something you'd just find under a rock, especially under a rock in the water. Oh, just spooked something. All right. Let's be gentle. All right. So, so far, we've been fishing stuff that we could see the bottom. Kind of like super shallower stuff. Look at this. I don't know if y'all could see right in that darker area. I cannot even see the bottom there. I need to get in the water a little bit. That was not the best cast. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm getting a bit out there too. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. Come here. Dude, there's a squad right here of bass. Is that one gonna eat it? There we go. That one got it. That's so cool to me. There's a smallmouth. Well, there's like three or four smallmouths, and mixed in with them, there's a largemouth. I don't know if that dude knows he's with the wrong gang. I mean, I, th I guess that's kind of messed up. Your gang is who you choose to ride with. Boom. Thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Dude, that's a solid fish. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> yes, sir. So far, this is just so much fun, man. 
Only two species. But uh, we've seen three. Now there's gotta be some fall fish around here somewhere. And watch this. This is how much they love this lure. <laughs> Gosh, that's not a bad one either. Always oh, freaking thrashing in that water. All right, come here. Come here, I'll get it right out. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Right in the top of his mouth. The nice thing about these small lures too is that they don't really, you know, gulp it. Like if you're using a live worm or something like that. It's usually on the top of the mouth. Wow. Sick. Boo. I don't know about y'all, but for the last... 24 hours I've had little Uzi cranking in my head. <sighs> oh jeez. Come here buddy. Wow. So feisty. Dude, I did not know this creek had this many smallies in it. Not until today. They are loving this Anisoptera. She... <clears throat> she whoop. Thank you for playing. You see, I feel like a lot of people will just look at a fish like that and be like, well, it's, you know, just a little small fish. I'm trying to spread the word, man. Spread the message of the ultralight and the finesse Fish it. it's it's freaking fun, dude. I'm telling you. A lot of y'all know that though. Oh my gosh, we're starting to get into Yeah, this is deeper stuff. I uh thought maybe since the water was all down it wouldn't be as deep. It's pretty deep. We're gonna see how far we can get over here. Water's getting to an area we really don't want it to get to. Alright, this is officially oh my gosh. Almost just fell there. Oh, jeez. This is officially the furthest we've ever gone. Wading in this creek. There we go. Oh, oh, we got him. What do we got here? Oh, sick. Third species of the day. Oh, no. Okay, now. I thought it was a bluegill. Little baby. Red breast. That'd be perfect. Throw him out on a little circle hook. Or something bigger. All right. Well, those guys are still around here. I've always wanted to come down this way because there are just big, juicy logs that I'm pitching at right now. Oh, dude, I just got bit right on the fall again. The thing is, too, these fish down here probably like very rarely receive pressure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a new species for the day. All right, that's what that is. Let's go, dude. That's actually a good one, too. Got these GoPro batteries in my hand. This is not the easiest on the hooking. Boom! How many species is that for that? Three? Just need that largey, man. This might be one of my favorite species to catch, especially in the creeks. Beautiful. Rock bass. I mean, that dude put up a fight. It's chunky little man. Look, we're right above the water, too. Don't even need to really release it. I got him. 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 Let's go. Touch him. Let's go. Let's go. Fourth species. This is the one I wanted. It was not like my target or anything until he would not bite. Ooh, boom. Fourth species of the day on the Enesoptera. Boom. Let's go, man. They're loving that little Euro tackle. Thank you, buddy. Definitely not, you know, as big as what we were catching. This is undeniably, undoubtedly 
indubitantly a honey hole. Like, just ridiculous. What is this now? Oh my gosh. Just like the variety as well. All right. I'm gonna keep poking around here, see if we get anything else new. Let's take one more cast. Let's release this nice little rocky bass. Thank you, buddy. Look at that, very pretty. Let me fix this bait too. Oh yeah. What is that fish? Oh, he ate it. That's the big one. Maybe not the big one that I saw originally. Oh, okay. Dude, that's so sick. Just a variety. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's freaking tugging too. Come here, buddy. This is one of the better ones we caught today. Oh, come here. Jeez, man. Like actually, freaking crazy. Boom. All right, chill. I got GoPros in my hands. Oh, he destroyed that. Boom. Pop right out, though. Woo! Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. <laughs> that was so cool. That's not the big, big. I saw something really weirdly big. It might have been a big sunfish or rock bass or something. We're going to leave this mini oasis. See if we can head down here a little bit more. Hopefully, we don't get swallowed up. Have you ever thought about... This is probably not crossed a lot of your minds, but now I'm sorry I kind of put it in it. But imagine if you were just like waiting in a creek or just doing anything and a sinkhole opens up. Like that is just terrifying. Especially like it usually happens around water, right? Let's get a cast to the right. Oh my gosh. Right once it freaking hit the water. Yeah, I kind of guess what that would be. These guys are vicious. So if this goes to show you guys anything, it's like one, creek fishing, boom, another red breast. It's a lot of fun. And two, small lures are just fun. Boom, exactly. Get off me, leaf. All right, there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 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 what is that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, man, yes. That is freaking solid. Whew. Wow. Look at that. Freaking rock bass. Boom. That right there is a rock bass and a half. This is so freaking pretty, man. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what's beyond this now. The outer realm of our wading territory. I mean, I could just keep on wading too if I really had the time. Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. What were you guys? Dude, I just saw a freaking whole party going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, my guy. These red breasts are on it. Literally like a rocket once they hit the water. You hungry or something, buddy? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Jeez, man. Like a freaking rocket. I think it's safe to say this is officially Smalley City, and we got a Smalley Slam.